alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a story time that takes place my junior year of high school, and this is one of the funniest story times ever. It's just like a silly, lighthearted one, but it has a really good message to it at the same time, which is do not drink underage, or if you choose to drink at all, drink responsibly. Basically, everything we did in this video that was so dumb, please do the opposite, because we were 16 years old, we didn't know what we were doing, and this video just, it's, <laughs> Just please enjoy the video. This story time takes place the weekend before my Project X party. If you guys have seen that story time, it is way back on my channel. I will link it below. So this was at the same girl's house. Her name is Ashley, and it was around the time of her birthday. So this was like her birthday sleepover before we threw her birthday party. And it was basically just her, myself, and then seven of our closest friends. It was also sort of like my birthday sleepover because my birthday was like a week after hers and we were really close and we just like did a lot of things together. So we had our friends over at her house to spend the night. We had cupcakes, you know, it was gonna be lit. And right before this, we went out to dinner at the mall and then we were shopping and on the way home, we split up. So we were in two separate cars. And so half of us, they stopped by a party on the way home just to like say hi to some people. And then the other half of us just went straight home back to Ashley's house. So I was in the car that went straight home, but my friend who were in the other car that stopped by a party which we totally did not care about we were just like okay we'll see you afterwards they came back with a bottle and up until this point of my life I had never really been around drinking at least underage drinking like at all because keep in mind the project x party happened like a week after this and then I was in for a rude awakening let me tell you so all of my friends started drinking including Ashley who was the one who lived at the house. I was the only one who was sober. I didn't want to drink. I had never drank before. I didn't want to, so I stayed sober. And I know what the caption says, but we'll get to why that's, I got sucked into this whole thing as well, even though I was not drinking. And underage drinking, don't do it. If you do it, be responsible, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. I did not drink. I was the only sober one that night, but every single one of my friends was drinking. And they didn't know how to drink because we were all so young, so they didn't know their limits. One friend in particular, my friend Kayla, she got so freaking plastered to the point where she was falling over, so we had to put her in the bathroom, and then she got a nosebleed, her first ever nosebleed, so I'm going to insert a live clip. She was literally so messed up, it wasn't okay, and we were so dumb because all we were really doing was like recording her and then taking selfies while she threw up in the toilet because like, we were 16 and we didn't realize that she was like really needing water and bread. Again, like I said, this is a lesson for all of you. So the night goes on and then someone suggests like, hey, actually, you know what? We should give Kayla some bread and some water because like she's not looking too good. And I heard that that'll actually soak up the alcohol. That's what bread does and then water, you know, that's what you need to sober someone up. So we did that. We gave her like a whole bag of bread. We just like put it beside her in the bathroom and we made her eat some and then we gave her a cup full of water. And then we just left her there in the bathroom because we honestly didn't know what else to do. Like. She was out. She was passed out at this point. We were so dumb because she passed out laying like this. So she could have like drowned in her own puke, like in the alcohol and everything. Like you're supposed to be laying on your stomach, but we didn't know what we were doing because we were so dumb and nobody there should have been drinking at that age. We should have like brought her in the room or something at the very least, but you know, in case she needed to use the toilet again and puke, she was right next to it. So we just thought that it worked. Everyone is still intoxicated except for myself, but I have no knowledge about drinking. So like, I just think everything's fine. And our night continues. Everyone's trying to do the grind on me, which I have clips from. It's so freaking funny. There's this one part where I, I hit myself in the face. Like I literally kick myself in the back of the head and I make this terrible noise. I'm like, <laughs> like you just got to hear it. So I'll insert a clip here. Oh, you actually sort of did it. <laughs> After this, everyone starts to sober up and we're just chilling, like watching TV or something. It's like three in the morning and all of a sudden, Ashley's little sister walks out from her room into the bathroom and screams. And she's referring to Kayla because she's just laying there, like literally out, like she's dead. Ashley's mom comes out of her room, looks in the bathroom, sees Kayla, peers over the balcony looking at all of us, and she's like, okay, why is she sick? Why is she throwing up? And so chill about it. Like literally, we probably would not have even been in trouble even if we told her the truth right then and there. But of course we didn't. So my best friend Mala, she's like, 
she ate too many cupcakes and she's the worst liar in the world so that already just sounded bad in itself but her saying it was like 10 times worse okay she ate too many cupcakes like are you serious girl like no because like i said it was around her birthday so we had a bunch of cupcakes and we were just like eating them so her mom's like okay and goes back in her room but then she texts ashley and she's like I saw the bread, you know, like indicating that she knew that Kayla was drunk and she had been like puking or getting sick from drinking alcohol, you know what I mean? So then Ashley forwards it to us because this is back in the day when you forwarded stuff, like before there were iPhones or people used iPhones really. So we're like, crap, she's onto us. So thinking that we're about to be hella sly, we go into the kitchen. We take peanut butter and jelly, and at this point, this is my friend Taylor and I doing this. So we're like, okay, we, we devise a secret plan. We get the peanut butter, we get the jelly, we take some knives. And then we take the cupcakes. So we go upstairs and we spread peanut butter and jelly on the bread that we had lying there for Kayla to sober up with as if she was just casually making a sandwich in the bathroom. And I wish that I could say we did this as a joke, but the fact is we were actually being dead serious. We actually thought this was gonna cover up that she was drunk. And then we took the chocolate cupcakes, smeared them all over her face, and then we replaced the piece of bread that was in her hand with a chocolate cupcake as if she fell asleep because she was just too turnt off the cupcakes. Like she got sick because she ate too many of them, along with the peanut butter and jelly sandwich that was lying there. And we actually thought this was legit. And as we're walking out of the bathroom with like the leftover peanut butter and jelly supplies, her little sister is looking at us like, what? the heck is wrong with you like what are you doing you know but of course she didn't really say anything because she really looked up to her older sister and she didn't want to get on like anyone's bad side she wanted to be cool with all of us and i think she was already scared that like she accidentally got us in trouble we go back downstairs we go on with our night at, like five in the morning we're all dead asleep at this point because we eventually ended up passing out right kayla we hear her stumble down the stairs like she falls down the stairs and then she gets back up and we're like kayla what are you doing like she was resurrected like she came back to life at this point because she was out let me tell you and she's like i'm leaving i'm going home and we're like do you want a ride she did not live close she lived like miles away like i wouldn't even want to walk that far sober in a great mood having a bunch of energy let alone at five in the morning when i am hung over and drunk and puking and she's like no i'm good stumbles out the front door and she literally walked while throwing up on the sidewalk the whole way home but of course we're terrible and we didn't we didn't know this like if we knew that this was the reality of it because she said she was fine we would have followed her or something but we didn't know what to do and i don't think any of us were even old enough to drive i'm pretty sure when i said that we got rides back that like Ashley's parents were both driving us so yeah none of us really had our licenses yet so she walked all the way home being that freaking drunk and hungover puking while the rest of us stayed there and slept in and I had no hangover because I was sober and the only one who made smart decisions that night so if you guys like the story be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want more crazy party stories because I realized this is when I was like 16 I'm in college now there's a lot more that came from like let me tell you be sure to let me know in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe turn on notifications that way you are notified and check out my other videos. Follow my social media if you want to, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye.